So here we're given uh, this function and its graph, and we're asked to examine these statements. The first one is limit x approaches minus infinity of this f, this function, is the same as it approaches infinity plus infinity. So let's look at this expression. As x becomes large, denominator can be approximated as x over x squared, which can be simplified to 1 over x. So as x becomes large negative number, and you'll see the graph, it's going to go to a zero. Uh, in fact, it would be like minus 0 0.000. And keep getting smaller as x gets large. And if we look at as x becomes large positive number, it's going to go to a really small number, but positive. And as you can, uh, as you can see here, the graph is tending towards the x-axis and here also. So yeah, they are both equal and they would be equal to zero. So one is true. Two says uh, is about the right and left hand limit of this function at zero. And uh, you can see immediately from the graph that indeed they are uh, equal. They're both approaching zero. And if we look at this function as well, if you come uh, if x is a small negative number, for example, minus h, then this would be minus h over 1 plus h squared. The denominator, as h becomes small, would be close to just 1, because we can ignore that number. So it's minus h as h goes to 0. It's going to be close to minus 0 0.000, depending on how small you make it. Same thing on this side. If um, x is h, same thing, the denominator would just be 1. And then again, from this side also, you would be approaching zero. So both the right-hand limits and the left-hand limits are equal. So two also holds true. The third one requires a little bit of a manipulation. So they're asking us whether this limit uh, does not exist. That's what they're saying. So I'll, I'm going to replace this function here. And I want to simplify this. So the numerator is that. 2 times 1 plus x squared. And then we have this term as well. And then this, if I'm, I'm going to factor that out. And you're going to see that this is an identity. Which is square of x minus 1. Knock that out. So I have... 1 minus x over 2 times 1 plus x squared. So we're looking at limit x approaching 1. You see that that's just uh, 4. This is x is 1. And this number is going to go to 0. So yes, the limit actually does exist. Um, and so 3 is not true. So the answer is 1 and 2 only. Choice B.